Hey, it's Nick, and I have a small little video I'd like to talk about with Star Citizen that I hope the devs out there hear me and will listen to this feedback, critique, or suggestion, whatever you want to call it, for the Gravlev vehicles. Currently, Gravlev vehicles only operate within a certain min-max height, and I'm going to call that the optimal range for the hover bike. Currently, if you hit a rock, go over a ramp, launch out of a crater, on a low gravity planet, you will be hurtling for kilometers into the sky and most likely impact the ground and explode when you come back down. I have a proposed solution that I feel would greatly impact the quality of life of Gravlev vehicles make it so that there's a consistency to maneuvering and handling across all low gravity moons and planets that seems and sounds very simple and i'm curious if cig may already be planning this my proposed solution is gravlev vehicles when outside of their maximum height they would actually apply an artificial gravity force downward back to where whichever planetary surface they're on that would actually give it like an artificial gravity so in this example you have the nox letting over this launch and as soon as it goes over the maximum height it actually its thrusters kick in ifcs in coupled mode you turn back on and start to apply a force downward simulating artificial gravity and this could be for any low gravity moon and if this constant gravity is there art artificially with its maneuvering thrusters pointing downward then this could be have the same characteristics of flight and handling across many many moons and other low gravity surfaces now I think this should be tied in with a coupled mode if they ever go down this route because I feel that sometimes you do just want to get massive giant air unrestricted but other times especially with the new Gravlev racing it has really pointed out that if you get launched into the air or kicked up into the air by a small deformation in the terrain it can be detrimental to your speeds and times and I feel like a system like this actively tries to get you back within that optimal range in between your maximum and minimum ride height i think that would be a really great benefit to hover vehicles and gravlev